Hey, everybody. So people have asked me very specifically, do the Zyra class of models handle NLP tasks, uh, natural language processing? And I wasn't 100% sure of the answer. I was like 90% sure that yes, they could. Uh, but so I'm, now I'm 100% sure that yes, they can. And I'm actually positive that they can beat transformers like pretty handily. So this is um, Zyra NLP model with sparse attention and resonance loss. And then uh, very specifically, I use sparse attention like um, very honestly, just for compute purposes, right? So uh, attention the, and the attention mechanism itself scales quadratically. It is a, a lot of compute power. And then so to me, I just like, I wanted the, and I, I like the benefits of the attention mechanism, but I don't like that quadratic scaling. And then I'm not utilizing uh, in this um, like a uh, softmax or, or anything else. I mean, I, I am using, I'll dive into the model specifics, um, but um, so it, it's the Zyra class models, right? So it's a spectral harmonic, uh, harmonic resonance model. And, and then so utilizing uh, NLP in this instance and then combining spectral embeddings, harmonic feedback, sparse attention, and a custom design resonance loss function. That's a, a level two loss function to uh, enhance model structure and learning dynamics. The core features are the spectral embedding layer, which transforms tokens into frequency aware embeddings using Fourier transforms, capturing latent structure. There's harmonic feedback layer, which injects inverse frequency feedback to encourage resonance based refinement. There's, of course, the sparse attention layer, which is efficient attention mechanism utilizing top K masking to retain only the most relevant signal. So that um, attention masking is part of uh, like the NLP training process. And then so just showing it and showcasing that you can 100% do that process with these Zyra class of models. Um, and then the resonance loss function, which measures phase alignment between original and reconstructed Fourier transforms, guiding learning via spectral coherence. And then the dual uh, phase training regime, which is like that secret sauce, right? Um, and then so I'm essentially having the, uh, it's the, the CNN layer of the network trains and focuses very specifically on the spectral alignment. So the um, detected shape that it picks up uh, and then it utilizes that detected shape as its ground truth. Uh, and then from there, we overlay uh, in this instance, like uh, labels for text. Uh, and I'll show you all the different tests that I run. Uh, and then it passes every single test 100% accuracy. So I'm going to show you uh, based off of a toy data set off of the AG news text classification data set. Uh, and then as well as like a, a paraphrase detection data set where I, I put like uh, like three versions of it, like hard, hard, and hardest, and it goes through all three 100%, right? So that's exactly what I'll demonstrate here for you. And then so this is a ready-to-run modular design, ready outside of the box, designed for extending NLP research and frequency-aware learning, semantic compression, and alternative attention mechanisms. This shows promise for low-resource training and data-efficient learning with only small data sets and minimal tuning. It can serve as a prototype for resonance-based AI architectures or hybrid spectral transformer models. If you want me to train like this model fully out, how would it compete against transformers if it was scaled up? Uh, if you give me money to train it, I'll train it, no problem. I'll scale it up for you. Uh, and like I, I'm confident at this point, it's, it would smack around transformers even with scaled up, with scaled up, right? So going through, showing you the testing here, just you know, so here's all the, the individual layers mentioned. You can play around with the code. Uh, and then we put in the um, uh, uh, mass attention and then everything is like mass attention and the Fourier transform are like the two major components within this, that level two loss function. So I do have, I'm measuring entropy loss as well as that um, the level two like uh, Fourier loss. So that's kind of uh, how I'm doing that with the loss function. Uh, and then so you can see, we, I train it for three epochs on, on its, its shape. Right. Um, and then for uh, for the rest of the epochs, it's it's training from there on like the, the like the human construct. Um, and then it starts off at 25 percent accuracy. It stays that for like about nine epochs. And then by epoch 10, it's just it, it's done right? like 100 um, percent. And then so uh, going through here, like next test. It's harder, right? Um, so uh, this is uh, like um, we I, I up the test very considerably, um, and then add a uh, huge vocabulary um, compared to what we were looking at before. Uh, and then so that's kind of like the the big thing here with that training, right? It's just upping the the training. 
Uh, and then again, like same thing, it, it takes more epochs by 13 epochs by epoch 13. Uh, it's it's there, right? 100 percent. Um, and then uh, we see like and, and notice here that it, it is interesting, right? So you, you it's at 81, 81, 81, and then it does dip to 68. So perhaps it does overfit, right? Um, and then, like, uh, perhaps we only wanted to run it for um, eight or nine epochs within this instance. It would require more training, right? This is the very first time uh, that I've tried this. I'm just pointing this out, right? Like, rather than just saying, like, oh, it's 100% accuracy across the board, just pointing out, like, I noticed the, the, the dip here, right? Um, and then so the dip here tells me that I might have probably should have stopped it at 81% accuracy, possibly, uh, in, in that instance, or tune this overall. Like, I'll, like, this is a simplistic implementation of the Zyra architecture, right? There's a lot more that I could have, I, I like, um, this is like half of the, the Zyra architecture, basically, because uh, I wasn't expecting it to get to 100% accuracy on these tests, right? I was like, okay, I'll start small, uh, we'll like benchmark the accuracy with the small one, and then I'll go bigger, right? And then uh, like, this was meant to be my benchmark test, <laughs> like, like, here's the small benchmark, uh, and then we'll see what happens there. But like, I mean, it's, uh, we're already getting 100% accuracy on the small benchmark. So I don't have like, uh, any reason to, to, to like, uh, shell out of my own pocket as the bottom line to, to scale this up. So I'm just showcasing this to you guys. Um, and then, so, um, we go here and then, so it's harder, right? So I'm more like a, a bigger data set than, than before. Uh, right. So it's like, okay, let's double the data set. Like, let's, let's and double everything about the data set, right? And, and so that's flat out what this is. Um, is it's um, doubled the data set size. Then they had an epoch. Um, but then this also tells me too that perhaps it's not like this is much cleaner with the, the training too, right? So perhaps it's not actually overfitting because it, and, and it is just getting 100% accuracy because when we go through, so it's um, uh, epoch nine is when it starts figuring it out, right? You get that big jump to 68% and then it jumped to 75, then it jumped to 87, then it jumped to 90, 93, and then and then 100. <laughs> like, um, so I mean, that like this is, doesn't measure as overfitting to me. This measures as, as it's, it's flat out learning um and then there you go right every single test that i've thrown at it so far uh it's it, it handles it like a champ like a beast <laughs> and uh and then so um the question being can the zyra class of models handle nlp tasks yes absolutely could this be a potential uh, replacement for transformers 100 percent, yes absolutely it would be um far cheaper overall to train these models like uh uh would be the bottom line far less compute like this model i mean you can see it's running here like this took three seconds right uh, each one of these tests is not not long it's like three four seconds every single time to to um run a 24 seconds is like the the, the top uh, end right is, is what like under a minute every single time to to fully train these models on these data sets over multiple epochs 15 epochs every single time right just highlighting that and pointing that out so uh it's not like this could train on your phone. I literally trained it on my phone. Uh, like uh, it was my very first test. And then so um, there you go. Um, so Zyra NLP, uh, here's all the code. Uh, play around with it. It's open source, MIT licensed. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.